Hi guys, welcome back to yet another video with the CBR 250L looking all pretty in the red shade right there. So today we're gonna do a lot many things including a coolant flush of this thing. So I'm gonna use this Golden Cruiser EcoSafe Plus coolant for, for this particular bike and uh, I've got this for relatively cheap than the, cheaper than the MRP. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. So here are some tools which I'm going to use, a ratchet, an allen key and a multifunction tool which has a screwdriver and a pliers. So this is gonna be helpful in many other ways. So this is the cover for the coolant reservoir and this is a screw for the engine fairing. We're gonna remove just one screw to access the engine drain bolt which is located just right there which you can see. And we also need to remove the reservoir pipe which is going directly to the radiator which is located right there and also the radiator cap which already has a screw removed. The first up is the engine fairing screw which is a kind of an allen screw which is going to be removed by only the allen key. and. Nothing else needs to be removed to access the engine drain bolt which is located right there, right at the center of the screen right now. And now we're gonna remove the uh, reservoir cover which is there for just uh, to protect it I think. Which is held by only a Phillips head screw and this is very very fairly easy to remove just look at it. <laughs> so this is the screw I was talking about earlier and this is the cover and you can see the co rubber cover of the uh, coolant reservoir right there. And now it is time to remove the engine drain bolt by the help of a ratchet and I already placed a container beneath it. As you see some droplets on the ground and it's already loose so I'm gonna remove it by hand and you guys gonna take care of this particular screw and uh, the washer as this is the only thing that's gonna make a seal so I'm gonna place it right there. So now let's open the radiator cap and get ready to witness the fountain which is gonna happen any second now. Here we go. <laughs> so as you guys can see the container is kind of useless because of the engine fairing that is blocking the entire flow of the coolant. The coolant is actually relatively old as the bike was sitting for about three years I guess so that is why I'm changing and replacing the coolant and as well as doing the cleaning. So I'm going to share the cooling pro uh, cleaning process as well. So now I'm going to remove the reservoir pipe as well. So now that I can open the reservoir and use a hose to clean it up. But before that, let's do this uh, with the radiator first, right? Let's see which one of these has coolant residue, the radiator or the reservoir. <laughs> so what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Here comes the hose. Let's do the radiator thingy first. And as soon as I start filling the radiator, the engine is going to be flooded with the water and the drain bolt where the drainage system is there is going to release everything. But as you guys can see, it is only water. There's no coolant inside. <laughs> There's nothing. So in the meantime, also clean the radiator with the pipe so that the dust and dirt, smoke, everything gonna release. So it is time for the reservoir. And as you guys can see, reservoir is releasing everything. There's a lot of coolant has been coming from the reservoir, but do it keep on doing that as soon as I, you can see the white colored water or the transparent water whatever you like to call it and as you can see the clean water stop the hose and let the, all the water drains out so that it is clean so it is time to close everything that we opened up and before that let's clean the bolt as well so that it doesn't have any dust on it as well as the pipe to the reservoir this is actually very important <laughs> and lock it up too now the two steps done, just leave the reservoir open as we have to fill it up, right? So it is time to open up my Golden Cruiser bottle. It is highly concentrated coolant. We can make one liter to three liter coolant in this. So I'll just use this 200 ml bottle for reference. And I'm going to make uh, around 2.7 liters as CBR 250R takes about 2.7 liters. So I use the coolant according to that. Uh, just use this one liter bottle and use the aquacord water so that it is uh, free from any any kind of contaminants. So here is a funnel and actually guys please use the funnel with a pipe. We don't have a funnel with a pipe but we have a long pipe so we can cut that up but uh, we didn't do that. So we did use this uh, kind of a difficult method to fill all of the coolant inside of the radiator first then uh, we did the same process in the coolant reservoir but if you have a funnel with a pipe this process is relatively very very easy so here you go the coolant has been done and you can see the position of the coolant reservoir right 
So if the pipe is actually horizontal. So in any case, the process is done. Let's start up the bike and let's see how it feels. And obviously we need to close the radiator cap. Now that the engine is running, I'm going to check the entire engine area for the leaks, especially the areas which I've opened, like the engine drain bolt, the reservoir, the radiator, the pipe, everything, etc, etc. And now if I didn't find anything, now I'm going to rev the engine up and I'm going to leave it for idle about five minutes or so. Everything feels absolutely fine you guys the process has been done thank you so much for watching and tuning into the channel and if you like this particular video please do check out some of the other videos on the channel they are mostly in uh, hindi but if you like english content the english content is on the way and they are also plenty on the channel so thank you so much for watching it and if you like anything please do consider subscribing thank you so much guys